And this is something that I don't recommend anybody to do. I know most of you have motors on yours. Just let the motor run. The form is in the press, I've inked up the press, I've oiled the press, I need to reset the counter. Just stand here, keep everything going. Of course, it would be nice to have a printer's devil to put these aside somewhere to let them dry and bring me more stock when I run out. The total run today will be 250. This is the kind of job that I do for staff. This is for the director.
And to use an old newspaper term that editors and such used to put at the end of articles, that's 30 for this job. Now, of course, we have to clean the form, clean the press, the rollers, myself. Release the form. And this bar is very handy for resting the form on it. Change your grip. And we'll just clean that up. Step one of cleaning up after printing. Step two is I use an ink knife just like I would if I were cleaning the stone. I mean, I could get all this off. There's lots of different ways you can do it. Uh, I could just put sheets of paper on it. But I found that this shifts an awful lot of the ink. That all goes into the scrap can. And now I'm going to get some waste. A little bit of the kerosene. Make sure you have a good grip of the flywheel just in case something starts to pinch. We don't have to clean up the, the fountain because I didn't have the fountain engaged. I might do a little, just a little wipe down. nice and clean, get the trucks clean. Trucks are these little pieces on both ends of the rollers that ride down the rails. And there you are, ready for the next job.